Here we are then, so we're back with another episode on my YouTube channel. My name's Callum Luke Webber, I'm the Freedom Lifestyle CEO and founder, and today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing how to easily overcome objections. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you're in sales, or you're a business owner and you're struggling to confidently close every day, make sure you stay tuned to this episode and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm actually gonna be posting three times a week of different sales value and mindset tricks so that you can scale your income to six figures plus. So as always, let's get into this. So how to easily come overcome objections. Now, this is something that is spoken about a lot on social media of how to overcome objections. This is what you need to say. This is what you need to say. But the thing is with overcoming objections, like the number one way to overcome objections is what energy are you in? Everything's energy. All sales really is, is energy. By them giving you an objection shows to you that they're not in a good energy. Because if they were in a good energy, then they'd buy. So the, the key to the game is to get them out of that negative energy and is to get them into a positive energy. Because people aren't sat there on a sales call with you or you they haven't booked in an appointment with you for no reason. You know, they haven't wasted an hour of their life to go and speak to you if they didn't have a problem or if they didn't have a goal, right? And every goal that someone has is usually there's a, a problem attached to that goal. And that's the reason what they want to overcome. They want to overcome that problem so they can achieve that goal. A lot of people are trying to move away from pain. They're trying to move away from something and they want to move towards a desire, okay? So your job as a business owner, if you are fully sold, you are 100% sold in your product, your service, and your company, then it's your duty to make sure that you overcome objections. So that's number one, is having the duty to overcome that objection. There's so many business owners and sales reps that have amazing products, have amazing services, and they get one objection in, in a sales scenario and they just give up instantly. And the reason they give up is because they've, they've had some confidence They've had some confidence knocks, right? They may not be 100% sold in what they're selling, okay? But let's let's start talking about some tactics. So obviously, if you're watching this while you're driving, congratulations for utilizing your time. But if you are at home, make sure that every time you, you come onto my YouTube channel to watch my training, make sure that you've got a notebook and pen ready to really get into this, okay? So the way to overcome objection is actually a lot simpler than what people make out. All it is, is number, there's three stages today. So write this down. Number one, agree. Always agree. As soon as you disagree with your prospect, then it's going to create conflict. And when there's conflict, you're not going to be able to close that deal. Okay? So always agree, number one. Number two, you need to understand. You need to understand them. Let's say, for instance, I'll give you an example. Let's say your prospect says to you that they need to think about it, right? If you don't understand that and you disagree with them, okay, let's say you, you don't understand their situation. You're like, why do you need to think about it, right? That comes across quite aggressive. You've probably just seen that there in my tonality. Like, why? Like, why, why do you need to think about it, okay? That's not understanding them. Whereas the, the better approach to do it is, of course you need to think about it. I completely understand that you need to think about it. If I was in your situation, I'd want to think about it as well. I completely understand you, right? So you've agreed with them, right? You've agreed with them. Then you've understood them. Now it's time to ask a powerful question. So it's simple. It's three stages. Number one, agree. Always agree. Number two, you then need to understand them. Imagine you are in their shoes. Understand them. And then finally, number three, it's time to ask a powerful question. Okay, I'm actually going to give you some examples now of, of some powerful questions that I use. So I'll give you an example. Let's say, for instance, they said they need to think about it. I completely understand that you need to think about it. I completely get that. Let me just ask you a question. Other than you needing to think about it, is there anything else holding you back from moving forward? Be silent. The power of silence is key. Okay absolutely key in sales. As soon as you ask a powerful question or as soon as you go in for a close, always, I want you to write this down, use the power of silence. Let them speak. Let them, let them speak. Let them answer. Let them overcome the objections themselves, right? When you ask them, is there anything else holding you back? You're now going to dig deeper into whether or not there's any other objections, okay? Usually when you ask that question, they're, gonna, they're not going to say anything else, Okay, so now you need to switch it. So now you found out that the only thing, the only thing holding them back is the fact they need to think about it. But it's not really the fact they need to think about it. It's really the fact that they're not fully sold or they're not in a good energy. So now 
as a, as a business owner, you, it's now time as an entrepreneur, if you want to create freedom, you cannot keep booking in follow up calls with your prospects every time they say to you, I need to think about it. You're not going to get anywhere. You're just not. Okay. Your business is going to fail. The number one reason why businesses fail or why entrepreneurs fail is due to a lack of sales. And the reason they, they got a lack of sales is because they can't handle objections. Every time an objection comes up, they give in, they book in a follow-up call, and then they get ghosted, or they never turn up to that follow-up call. And not only when you book in a follow-up call, not only are you um, being a bit deluded thinking they're going to move forward, which then you start thinking you're earning more money than you actually are, because I'll be guilty, I've been guilty of that, I've done that many times myself. Not only that, you're actually, by booking them in for a follow-up call, you're actually wasting an opportunity for someone new to book in a call, for someone new to book in a session. You're just wasting time. You probably heard the phrase, time is money, right? And it's so, so true, okay? But now it's time to switch them into a positive energy, okay? So you've gone down the route of asking them, is there anything else holding you back? That's a bit of a, a, bit of a negative question. It might bring up some negativity, but it's good to do that because it's good to find out if there's any other objections. But now it's time to switch them into a positive energy. So the one that I like to use a lot is what is your strongest reason? I understand that you need to think about it, but what is your strongest reason for doing this? And smile, get a bit of energy, uplift your tonality with them, get them excited, right? Because now they're going to start speaking positive. They're going to start selling themselves on why they should move forward. Then when they give you their strongest reason, and what else? And what else? Right, now they've given you three strong reasons why they should do it. Out of X, X, and X, right? Out of the three reasons they've given you, which one excites you the most? Get them excited because they're only going to invest in you or buy your product or service when they're excited, if they're in a good energy. As soon as they're in that think about energy or it's too expensive or they need to speak to their partner, when, they, when they're in that energy, they're not going to buy from you. So it's your job, it's your duty to make sure you get them out of that, okay? Now they're excited, now you go back in for the close. Now you go back in for the close. And if that then doesn't work, then work, you then need to resell them. You need to repitch them. You need to find out why they were here in the first place. Rewind back to the start of the, of the call when you had with them. Like, what motivated you about uh, what motivated you about having this call? Like, go back, resell, right? They're then going to start telling you why they're on this call with you. And then be like, and you know, can, can you see how by you investing in this, like, you're going to achieve this and more? Get them to agree with you. Yes. Amazing. Let's do this. Okay. And then go in for the close with confidence and energy. Okay. And that's how you overcome objections. Number one, you agree. Number two, you understand. And then number three, you ask a powerful question. And you've got to make sure, remember this, make sure they are only going to invest in you when they're in a good energy. Other than that, guys, I've absolutely loved diving into this. I'm very grateful to be filming this actually from the Olive Garden, Quebec, uh, in Turkey, currently living out in Turkey, feeling very blessed and grateful that because I went all in, rewind seven years ago with learning how to sell, I'm now a business owner of Freedom Lifestyle, and now I'm able to make money anywhere in the world, and I'm able to create an impact. And if that's you, and you want to create that freedom, then make sure you subscribe to my, to my channel. And if you're ready to take it to that next level, I actually have something for you. In the description, there's just one link. That link is going to take you to a page. I'll be fully transparent. You do need to opt in. You've got to put your email address in. But don't worry, I'm not going to be bombarding you with loads of crap. I'm actually going to be giving you value. It's going to be my sales newsletter. I'm going to be giving you value to do a sale so you can confidently close more deals and make more money. I'll also be updating you about the new episodes of the YouTube so you don't miss out on all this incredible free content that I'm going to be providing for you every single week. And to make it even better. I've also got a free training for you that dives deep into what I've invested over £50,000 to learn and seven years of sales experience. You can have that completely for free. So make sure you check that out in the description. Other than that, I just want to say I'm so grateful for you investing your time, investing your energy into this. And I'm excited to see you and help you on your journey of becoming a confident closer so you can go out there and live your freedom lifestyle. As always, it's your freedom lifestyle coach, Callum Luke Weber, and I'll be seeing you on the next episode. Hasta luego. Let's go. Oh.